Welcome back. Topeka Restaurant Week is March 1st through 7th, and Chef Ryan is giving us a sneak peek at what Blue Moose will have on the menu. Good, Good morning. morning. Thanks, Thanks for, for being here. Yeah, welcome to the program. Thank you. Yeah, this smells delicious. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, so tell us what you have here. Well, we've you know been fortunate to be working with uh, Topeka Restaurant Week for a few years now, and it's it's a great great um, uh, charity for Topeka. But uh, we're offering, here's, I brought today some things for you to look at that we're offering on our menu uh, for the whole week. Starts this Sunday, goes through the following Saturday. Um, we are offering for lunch two courses for $15 Ooh. and we're offering for dinner uh, three courses for $35. So uh, in addition to it being just a, a good deal, um, also 5% of all of those proceeds go and earmarks into a, a scholarship fund specifically for uh, high school students who want to pursue a culinary or hospitality degree so and all that stays right here in Topeka which is great and so how do you have something that's on the menu already or how do you prep something that's going to be for this occasion only well uh, there's a couple items that we have that are just for this occasion but um, more often than that we really just want to showcase what we serve every yeah. day right um, but I'll just go through some of the dishes if you want to look at them so sure. one of the first items that we're offering is our mac and cheese bites and oh. so uh, what's better than our award-winning mac and cheese oh, is to take it ball it up and deep fry it yes, so fried. it's crispy on the outside <laughs> and, and gooey on the inside serve with a little bit of buffalo sauce so that's wow. unique. We don't have that yeah. on the menu every day. You can only get that for the next week. <laughs> uh, for lunch, this is one of our most popular lunch items. This is our carne asada tacos. Okay. Everything we make is in-house at Blue Moose. It's all scratch. There's a whole team of people that come very early every morning to make sure all this food is great for, for you when you come to the restaurant. Um, so those are the couple of lunch items. And for dinner, we're featuring three of our most popular entrees. The first one is our red miso glazed salmon uh, served with white rice, uh, sauteed vegetables, and a, a miso butter sauce. It's a really popular dish. Um, our second one is uh, grilled strip steak and all of our steaks and chicken are cooked over a live wood grill which is live actual Ooh. wood uh, hickory and oak oh, wow. it's just cooked right on top of that Love that's that. it, just nature at its best and it really gives it a great flavor so this sure. is our strip steak a uh, very popular entree well, I have my I eye on so. this right here. We'll get to that one in <laughs> yeah. a second. Don't get ahead. Oh, oh man. Uh, She's on that in for oh, a reason. The last yeah. entree is our, our, our grilled chicken piccata. It's a, a chicken oh, breast that that's good. served with pasta and then uh, a, a lemon uh, beurre blanc with some mushrooms Ooh. and capers. It's a really great entree also. So these are our three, one of our three of our most popular entrees. And then, of course, the desserts. If you're having dinner with us, you can have yep. some dessert. Two of the desserts that we're featuring uh, is our creme brulee. It's a very classic creme brulee just with the glass that. top uh, served with some, some fresh berries seasonal. And then the second one is our, our mm. gluten-free, flourless chocolate tort. And she'll be all about that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think I'll just take that with me. Well, <laughs> Ryan, um, restaurant weeks have become really popular in, in lots of communities. Why do you think that is? Well, I mean, listen, everyone wants a great excuse to go out to eat, right? right. Yeah. So in this case, you can do that and also not only feel full in your stomach, but full in your heart because you're giving back to the city. So it's just a great, great reason to go out and socialize and support your local uh, restaurants. Yeah, yeah, and 5% does start to make a big difference. It, it really certainly does. does. It certainly does. Especially when it's over a whole week. Sometimes oh, yeah. one fundraiser or one meal, maybe not, but over the whole week. Oh, this can put a lot of thousands and thousands of dollars at, just for at the disposal of people who want to pursue this as a career. Yeah, that's great. And it is huge. great to introduce young people to uh, different types of careers, and, including in the food industry. And this is delicious. Thank you. David, you got to try it. It's good. Oh, I will. I will. I have to talk <laughs> weather here in just a moment, though, first. <laughs> yeah, no food in your teeth. Oh, it does look great. I'm all about the steak. I'm all about the steak. And the way you described it made my mouth water. Yeah, it's yeah. a really, really great way to prepare steaks and chicken, sure pork chops, like things it. like that. Okay, well, Ryan, thank you for being here and bringing all this wonderful food. Pleasure. It smells delicious. Thanks. Restaurant Week is going to be a great time, and that is coming up March 1st through 7th. Visit Topeka has a list of participating restaurants on their Facebook page or on their website, and that's visit.topekapartnership.com.